this video is on biting and how to solve it. So first the thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have the horse go around me in a tight circle and I'm going to work on flexor her nose to where her nose is going to be right by my arm. So I'll be giving her the opportunity to bite. I mean I don't want her to bite me but she definitely has the opportunity and if she's a biting horse which this one is and she's aggressive she'll go to try to bite because she thinks she's in charge of the pecking order. So horses that bite think they're in charge of the pecking order and when you're doing this exercise um, they get very upset and if they think they're in charge of the pecking order they're going to bite. So we're going to keep her going around. I'm going to keep her nose there on my uh, shirt. There she bit me. So now I'm going to go ahead and make her work for a while. When I'm making her work I'm taking charge of the pecking order. She has to do the things I want her to do in a non-aggressive way, but she has to do the things I want her to do. And what I want her to do now is go to the left and work at the walk, trot, canter. Then I'm going to go ahead and stop her. I'm going to bring her back in, and then we're going to start the exercise again. So the exercise again is going to be, I'm going to tap her. She's going to go around me. I'm going to flex her nose. And I'm going to have her nose right there on my arm. Be careful doing this because you don't want to get bit. But this is the best way to get horses out of fighting. Again, if the horse thinks they're in charge of the pecking order, they're going to try to bite this, try it again. And I'm going to go ahead and put her right back to work. Then by putting her back to work again, I'm really reestablishing the pecking order. So this, you know, I would probably work her 15, 20 minutes at a time. And then I'm going to go ahead and invite her back in. And then I'll start the exercise again. And I'm going to keep doing the exercise until she doesn't try to bite me. Um, you could also put a muzzle on your horse while doing this exercise, just if you feel safer doing it that way. So I'm going to have her go around again. I'm going to keep her nose right there on my arm. Flexing her nose, having her do a little circle around me. And she's doing pretty good now. She's not acting like she wants to bite, so now I'm going to stop and tell her she's a pretty good girl and that's exactly what I wanted her to do you know always praise the horses when they're doing pretty good for you and I'm gonna let her know you know she just made a mistake she's alright and then I'm gonna go ahead and start the exercise again I'm gonna keep her nose right there on my shirt and she's doing pretty good once again you know, this exercise may take you two or three weeks to get through. Um, it's an outstanding exercise, and it's the best way I know of to get horses out of biting. Again, all it is is an aggressive behavior. The horse thinks they're in charge of the pecking order. And by doing this exercise, we we're showing the horse that we're in charge of the pecking order. <coughs> she did pretty good there, so I'm going to go ahead and rub her on the head again. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Again, it's the best way to get horses out of fighting that I know of today. Uh, again, it's just an outstanding exercise.